Well, good morning to you. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. We are going out in the East Texas a bit today, just out of general boredom, just need something to do. But also because my buddy Dave called me up, he's got an Elvis Sun record he found out in the wilds. So he thought it'd be best to call me and have me come over there, and look at it, make him an offer. He's got some other records too. He's really good at finding stuff. I'm doing a lot better with the knee. I managed to discard the crutches. They are in the back of the Honda though, just in case I need them. And the pain has gone away. So whatever it was hiding inside my knee joint for about four or five days, that was just agonizing, slipped back into place or it decided just to not bother me anymore. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, nor do I portray one on television. Well, we're almost to Dave's place. Going to see what he's got there. Just thinking, I think I'm going to redo a video or two that I did way back in the early days. Way back in yesteryear. Almost a couple of years ago. Yeah, one of them's how to pack 78 records. I want to get it on better quality video. The high quality we've become used to. One on uh, just kind of overall cleaning of a record and then one on fine cleaning a record and uh, yada 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 kumbaya and then everybody's happy well there's Dave's place well all right we have arrived at Dave's Jesse's opted to stay in the car good for him otherwise there's a Elvis and look at there that is a fake no no it's real no no that that's a, a serviceable copy i want to play it first before we do anything else i just love hearing one of those things a fair amount of surface noise doesn't it? yeah yo early suns are rough Collection was mainly country and, and Elvis stuff, so it's a little yeah. that had been in the, fa in the family. So. That is so cool. Yeah, my mom, that was released on my mom's uh, 17th birthday. Wow. 54. There's a rough copy of Elvis's double yeah. extended play, but still, that's cool. One time years ago, I had two mint records. And I knew I'd never find the cut. The, so I, I swapped them off. Like a month later, I found a mint cover. And, and I'm like, isn't that the way it always works? Killing me. And I probably got, uh, most likely, I've got, I, I have no doubt that I've got those records better than that. Somewhere. You know, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I know I've got one of them probably somewhere, but. I probably have both of them more than like <laughs> I have a bunch of them, so. Yeah, that's something. Um, I think. I think that's. Oh, no, that's a brokey. Oh, it is. Pull that over there. Uh, I missed that one. Might have come that way. You never know. The Johnny Dallas. I'll play that. I'll play that. I'll play that. I think I know. I still will play it. Play that. All right. Good old. Folk. That didn't take you long to figure that out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Baby, I like, I like, I like, kind of like that. That ain't bad. That's kind of neat because the SSS, that's Shelby Singleton from yeah. out over in Wascom. He, he's that's the one where that, he's from? Yeah, yeah. Right. And he uh, bought the Sun Empire yeah, back in 69, I guess. Nice that's it. If anybody would know where he's from, it would be you. Yeah. Of course, that's a, that's when he was in big time Nashville. Wascom, Texas. Wow. That's about as far as you can get to the yeah, east. Yeah, it is. It is. More than One time during the Highway 80 sale, I went, uh, I decided, to, you know, because I had coupons, I decided to go to uh, all the way, you know, to Shreveport to, um, you know, which I'd never... Never, never took it that far, never yeah. Never past Gladewater, I don't think, you know, or Long, anyway. And um, there wasn't anything in um, Longview or um, a little bit in that town just uh, east of uh, Longview, a newer community. 
almost nothing in Marshall, but uh, got off the beaten path there in Wascom and, you know, found quite a bit. And two or three little garage sales, obviously. That ain't bad. No. Sprightly country. This just straight as straight country you can get. It's Memphis, why not? Well, okay. I went, bought some stuff there. Um, that'll be all right. The Elvis will clean up okay. Somebody will want that. I don't mind paying Dave really good for those because I can make my profit. And then he'll always call me, and sometimes he'll turn up something that's just mighty great. But I buy a whole lot of lower to mid-range stuff from him as well. It's just part of the big circle of life that we all go through. Let's go on to Tyler. That's just 30 miles away. Might as well. I've got nothing better going on, and Jesse's in a, a traveling mood, so why not? Well, coolness. Might as well hit the half-price books here while I'm at it. These are great places. And uh, hey, if you like reading, it's a good place too. I like to read. Read record labels, discographies, you know, stuff. Be honest, this looks kind of neat. records that's kind of a neat sleeve I might look that up quail calling I like quail call records I do quail call real good it's yeah, quail, 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 quail. I mean I do it well but I've never had one actually show up as a result yeah that's a dumb joke but start paying me better I'll come up with some with some better jokes you want a 50 cent joke I'll give you a 50 cent joke you want a five dollar joke I'll, I'll rear back and tell you a five dollar joke and you'll get your money's worth too but it's pay for play my friends I'm already lucky today let's see how much luckier I can get Okay, Dante Evergreens. Ooh, ooh. Hang down your head, John Hinckley. Wow, cool. That could be good. I'll have to look at it. There's the bales. Twist and squat. One by Jesse Felcher. Ruske. And then they're naughty records of Autry Inman. Or Surfing Bird again for Alexander. I think he's trying to buy every copy out there. Frontiersman. Very, very bad record, I think. Well, there's old Jerry Lee Lewis doing breakup, and I'll make it all up to you, and guess what? That's clean enough to buy. Yeah, I'll get that. I'm ready for me, bud. Oh, wait, what is that one? That's the reissue. Uh, I 
you know. I can make with that though, for two dollars. Okay, here's what we've got so far. Hang down your head, John Hinckley. Bet it's based on the old uh, Tom Dooley song. This one here looks like a baseball player, but he did some weird stuff. That one has little value. I think that's kind of a rocker by Bruce. Not in the best shape, not in the worst. And uh, Elvis, the reissue from the 60s of I Got a Woman. A lot of rockabilly DJs want that. It's cheap, but it's good. This one, I don't know. I suspect probably it'll be a sonic loser for me, but I bought it. Then this is just great. It's uh, Jerry Lee with... Uh, Charlie Rich playing piano on it for a change. Breakup, which is a really good rocker he did. And uh, that was four bucks. I can always, you know, quadruple or more my money. And then a soul record by Grady Tate. I've had something else good by him before. So we're well on the way, filling up that little box. Hopefully I'll have to get, a, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna need a bigger box. Hopefully that's what happens. Well, coolness, I'm gonna jump out here at this antique mall. Looks like the other one has moved. Jesse's going to hold down the fort there in the car. Probably why he talks to some girl on the, that texting machine he's got. Well, all right. Oh my, sounds like the chickens are hatching. Ooh, look at this. If it worked, if I knew for sure that it worked, it would be great. But I have no way of knowing, sadly. Besides, I've already got my little Sony. She's mine and her name is Sony. All right. I got a whole lot of nothing for me. That's really cool. They're playing a bass fiddle. Yeah, that is sharp. But I don't want to pay $18 for it, you know what I mean? Well, I'll be. Here's a new place. Nice. Oh, cool. Oh, LP box. Good metal LP box. Oh, not for sale. Why? Okay. Oh, cool. I like running across a new place I've never seen before. Okay. Oh. Yes, Sun House. Let me have a Sun House record, Lord. Please. Now I want more. Well, no. Okay, nothing for me, but it's good to see a new place. Maybe they'll get more stuff. Well, all right, left the Tyler area. I'm gonna head up 271. Maybe go check out uh, Gladewater. Elvis was big in Gladewater. He broke down there with Scotty and Bill and had car trouble. So they, they were there for a little bit. Did a lot of shows in the area, high school type stuff and all. And uh, sometimes Elvis sons will turn up. I'd like to, to get another one. I might get a couple in one day. I've done that before. Would like to do it again often so uh let's go check it out there's some antique malls and such we've been there but maybe new stuff has come in etc etc and then i'm a millionaire yeah okay first place of stopped found these sometimes there's some good bluegrass so i'll see how much that is those are kind of a shot in the dark record What is that? 
Oh, the only dressy. That's too beautiful. So. so this could be good. Too much sinning. Heck, <laughs> that sounds like my life story. Oh, cool. A lot of older looking company sleeves here. Let's see. Jesse saw these. It depends. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's different. Tell you what, there could be some quality if these haven't been picked through. We'll see. Johnny Bond. Two dollars each. Okay. Now Burris. Gala PV on Hippopotamus for Christmas. That looks good. Callahan Brothers. Bluegrass. Take a look at that one. There's, you know, that's mint. I'm going to get that. That just looks good, called I Have Shifted Gears. That sounds like a bopper. All right, now we're going to walk to the next few. There's quite a few in this town. So I bought the Jimmy Bowen record and that Callahan Brothers. They just look good. And I know the, uh, was the one on roulette was a big hit. But the deal is, it was mint, so spend $2. If I sell it for 5 or 6 okay. Yeah, I've done well. All right, we're at the next place. Hmm. No fees. Hey. Yay. See these wire racks that they're in? If you have these wire racks, throw them away. They're horrible. They break more records than they protect. <laughs> See what else is hiding here. Well, if you want some boots, look at that. Ooh. What awful music. Look at that. I probably need another pair of boots somewhere, but man, I wear like a 14 in boots, so, you know. Well, we're in the next place. Oh, bunch of 45s. Look at that. Or that missionary position gospel. Records and box. Okay. Looks like some 50s records. All I need is one killer dealer. And I will buy them all. Oh, oh, cool. This is a, oh, it's got a edge warp. It's a really good chick bopper. The We're Not Sisters from Oklahoma. So that's an okay one. Doesn't, it doesn't bring a lot though. It's like a $25, $30 record nowadays. Still fairly unknown. Should be worth more. Got some dandy guitar in it. Hoy Hoy by Clyde Stacy. But that's a real, it's great rockabilly, but real common. All I want is a killer.
Phineas Newburn. You know, I'm going to look that one up. This could be a tough one. Well, okay, nothing there for me. Got to do some more research on that Phineas Newborn 45 because I only see a 78 listed. But musically, I'm not sure that's all that, you know. What do we have here? Oh. Yeah, no. You know, worn out Johnny Cash record in a frame with a reissue thingy. We're just a modern day non Phillips son. Does not $75 make. I thought for a minute it said Milk Cow Blues Boogie by Elvis. All right, I forgot to turn my camera on, but I've got a bunch here to look at. I don't know that I've seen these before. Ooh. I'll have to look that one up. That's just. Pretty. Oh, gonna be a masterwork. So. And those damn Abbott records. Right, hey Walt. See, that was recorded here locally, about a mile from here. Turns out a lot though. Twenty five hours. What? Oof. Give me a good one, I'll buy it. There's John Yowen. Lots more forty fives. This is I think new to me. Jack Scott. What is this? Huh. Bobby Reed. Don't know who that is. I don't recognize it. Ooh, there's a good one. That's a harder to find Phillips International. I only found that in the wilds once. May not be a $20 record, but still. I gotta buy it just because it showed up. What else is in here then? And no internet here? Nope. Not at all. I might come back for that one. I'm gonna get this one definitely. They've had a lot more 45 records come in. That's good. Well, cool. I left my camera on for an extra 12 or 13 minutes. That'll drag my battery down. Brother producer's got some editing to do. At least I hope he does. Okay, I don't have the records being around here at one point. There's some. Ah, here they are down here. Don't know if it's the same old stuff I'd seen before. Probably is, but... I don't think that stuff we've all seen before. Ooh, Bing Crosby, White Christmas, wow. Rice Mac. <clears throat> that man was guitar god. Roy Smack. Look up on YouTube videos of him playing the ukulele. 
and playing it like percussion. I kid you not, it's one of the best things on earth. You trust me enough to look, don't you? You won't be rickrolled, I'll tell you that. Brother Max don't rickroll people. i tear up some 78 sleeves. Beautiful. Okay, nothing there, so let's on down the road. Don't know much how much we've got to go, but we'll see. We'll, we'll know when we get there. All right, well, coming up to the next town, good old Mineola, Texas, home of Jack Rhodes, who ran a country music empire here. He was a songwriter, and then also he uh, paid people who would show up with songs. Somebody came through one day, time with a song called Satisfied Mind, or A Satisfied Mind. He probably gave God 20 bucks for it, and that thing turned out to be gold. So he set up a recording studio in the uh, Trail 80 motor courts here in town that his mom owned. He recorded demos, pitched songs, made a couple of really insanely rare Star Day rockabilly records with Jimmy Johnson, all dressed up, and Jerry Hansen. I'm doing all right. I've uh, found both of those records before in the past. In fact, I found the uh, Jimmy Johnson three times. That's a rare record, though. And they only made 300, so I found a hundredth of the entire run. Gene Vincent went on to record the flip side of that one, which was called Woman Love. Well, I went to my good doctor uh, not so long ago. He did, it, he did a real nice, boozy kind of big delivery to his voice just absolutely loved it he died early and uh, jimmy johnson uh jack rhodes probably died in about 69 or so those records aren't to be found really much around here but i'm to be looking so i'm going to stop the antique mall or two here hit them i don't think the malls here are what they used to be they used to be really really good we'll find out then uh, i'll get home eventually start planning out the next adventure in life Oh well, there's the Panda Buffet. I've eaten there a few times. Surprisingly decent for side of the road East Texas uh, Chinese food. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm gonna stop here by this element. Maybe they'll get inside mine, drive off, and maybe theirs will have less mileage than mine. <laughs> I, I trade lots of cards that way. Well, not a record in the place apparently. But I'm gonna keep looking. Maybe I just missed them. They've got everything else. You know, bad gospel music, lots of clothing. Okay, so what do you do when you strike out at the uh, thrift shop? Ha, you go to the next thrift shop. Okay, nothing at that thrift shop. We just turned it around, come back on out. And check this antique place. I don't know this one, maybe it's new. See a whole bunch of peeps and Easter stuff. That don't look so antique to me. Oh, I like this place. Looking cool. There's lots of stuff. I may have been here before. I remember the gentleman there at the behind the counter. They're looking for me. just nothing I needed. No records for me. Boo. Anyway. Well, all right, big build up for uh, Mineola. Nothing to it today, but I have found outstanding records here, and I'll continue to check. Sometimes they're around, sometimes they're not. And that's all right. Gets me out of the house. <laughs>